So look now, this is crazy, yeah? I'm waiting for a taxi on the corner uh, of a mini police station. If you can see in the background, you can see the police and that. But look, I ordered the traffic, yeah? We are looking for a number plate we've called an Uber, just like we was in England, yeah? And we're looking for a Pacific number plate so we can get into town. It's so busy and frantic, they've asked us basically to wait on the corner. Look, crazy, crazy traffic, crazy traffic, crazy traffic. But we're only going to be able to get into the actual taxi that we've booked from Uber. And the reason why we've had some stories that it's quite frightening if you get the wrong taxi, you could end up anywhere. So here we are, we're still waiting. Yeah? We're gonna walk. We might have to walk to Law. So this is it, it's so crazy. We're gonna have to go back to the hotel onto the foyer where that's the only place that we can get internet yeah this is super blogger reese in traffic in bali as we do all across the globe all across the world getting it in we want you to see exactly what i'm seeing for what it is look at how many bikes you see within seconds And every time a taxi goes past you, whether you've got a fear or not, all he does is bib you to invite you into the taxi. Be careful where you go and who you get in a car with, you know? It doesn't matter what part of the world you're from, they will take you from, yeah? Look at the traffic light system, exactly like America. There's so much cables around here, you would think a tram's running. There is no public transport. None at all. There's no British Well, there's no London Underground, there is nothing. All there is motorbikes and Uber, yeah? And the way their transport system runs, believe you me, yeah? The penalties they would receive if they were in England would be absolutely amazing. This is Reese, the super blogger, reporting live from Bali.